A local nonprofit organization is asking for your help. Families by Choice is preparing for their largest fundraiser of the year. News Sen's Melissa Crash went to find out what's needed to continue to help the homeless. It's a miracle we're still open. That's what Mural Ryan, the founder of Families by Choice, had to say about her nonprofit organization. We're kind of a kick butt, love you dear, like group. A faith based group that serves an average of 30 homeless and hungry people a day. The group relies on donations, and now they're asking for your help. Because uh, we want to see people end up living a productive life moving forward and making progress for their kids. Quilts and blankets are beginning to fill up the office for Quilt Fest. This one right here that's got so much embroidery on it as well. An annual auction and fundraiser. However, there's still room for many more. This is Snoopy. And I love the red and yellows on the back. Not only does Ryan look forward to the cash donations, sometimes folks donate the quilts they bought back to the shelters. A homeless person once told me that there are two things that you always need to have, and that is dry socks and a blanket. Ryan says these quilts can make a difference in someone's life. This one's already shown a great deal of popularity. She's seen it firsthand. We brought her in, we gave her the ticket, she had the meal, she loved the blankets, and just as she was getting ready to leave, she shared with me that her first great-grandchild was going to be born. And so we let her select a baby blanket. A simple donation that allows one group to continue to provide a home for those who need it. We have to keep them warm. We have to keep the lights on. We have to keep the water on. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, Melissa Crash, News 10. The auction will be at the Indiana Theater on October 26th. Information on how to donate can be found on our website.